just looking for the sports channel. Alrighty, welcome back to Weenie Trades. So this video will be the weekly game plan. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing Super Bowl Sunday. Kind of like a holiday uh, over here in America. So pretty entertaining, super fun to watch. Uh, pretty entertaining game, whether you're a Chiefs fan or a Buccaneers fan. Uh, just making it to the Super Bowl is always exciting, but let's get into stocks. So be sure to enjoy this uh, free stock breakdown. Uh, just be just to let you know, this is just what I'm doing. None of this is financial advice. This is kind of my game plan. These are stocks that I find value in and I'm looking to trade and kind of build positions on. So for these weekly game plans, I usually like to talk about what happened last week. And last week we said I was going to go long on Disney over 175. We had this nice good uh, downtrend that I was looking to see if it would break. Well, uh, the downtrend broke and we went ahead and went long Disney at 173 and we added over 175. Disney did the deal pretty much near all time highs. Disney was a really good revenue trade for, for us last week and it was just super fun. Look, keeping an eye out for Disney, I'd love to buy a pullback back to 180, but we might just uh, break out through all time highs. Lots of ads with uh, Disney Plus. We'll see if that has a material effect. All that matters is are there gonna be more buyers than sellers? I'm leaning on the side that there's more likely to be more buyers, especially running up into earnings. If Disney pops really well before earnings, I'm just gonna be taking profits into earnings. And uh, if Disney goes down or sideways, I'll keep a decent amount, but nothing too crazy. Earnings, anything can happen and Disney can sell off a lot or it can rip up a lot. So just be careful. Last week I said I was looking to go long on Amazon over 32.40. Well, Amazon did the deal over 32.40. Right on Monday, boom, big bull move, 3.2%. I went ahead and took my profits right away, over 25% on our debit spreads. Congratulations, a lot of Weenie Trades members caught those debit spreads live. So be sure to watch us trade these uh, alive and see if they fit your risk criteria. But Amazon did the deal, and we said we'll wait for after earnings. We went ahead, went ahead and reloaded on Amazon at 3300 So Amazon's doing very well, looking to see if it can continue this higher low trend. Last week, I said I was going long on SQ Square, over $220 a share. Well, SQ did the deal. SQ just popped up 9% all the way to $240 a share. Sticking with SQ, I'd love to get another uh, pullback, probably down to 225 if not, we could just pop those all-time highs. FinTech has been roaring. Real good uh, earnings release by uh, PayPal. And so that really bodes well for the FinTech space. So we'll see if Square can uh, make pop those all-time highs and continue up. I'm um, uber bullish on Square long-term. So I'm going to be looking to see if Square can uh, really continue a nice good uptrend in the next coming months. We'll see how they do in, and fare against the banks. So that was last week's game plan. We also said uh, I was looking to go long on plug if I could get a dip buy into 50. That was a no trigger. Plug never went into 50, so no trigger. And GameStop, I said I was going to go long over 420.69. Well, GameStop never went as high as that. GameStop went as high as 413. Never did the deal, so no entry trigger. I was saying GameStop was likely to sell off if it couldn't do that. And uh, look where GameStop did. Dropped 85%. Be careful. Rest in peace, you uh, Diamond Hands GameStop bulls. I wish the best of luck to you. Be sure to tune into Weenie Trades Live if you have more GameStop questions. So now that we talked about last week's game plan, let's talk about this week's game plan. I'm going to be keeping an eye on the SPY. If we start to get up really too far, uh, potentially up into the 390s, maybe the 400s, I'm going to be keeping the swing trades a little bit light because that means SPY is reverted a little bit too far from the mean to my liking to swing trade anything heavy. Whenever we uh, start to get too far from the mean, we can have some nasty pullbacks and I just don't want to be a part of those pullbacks but i will uh, be, still be swing trading bullishly we broke out of the old all-time highs closed near the all-time highs above the all-time highs and now we back tested it holding as support so looking for spy to continue up still so that'll be uh factoring in so we're going to be looking at bullish trades our first trade that i'm looking to add to i do currently have a position on dropbox if you uh, watch the uh Friday uh, recap video, I'm looking to add to Dropbox. We have a nice good higher low pattern, flat top resistance. Dropbox is looking really good to break out over $25 a share. And I'm just gonna be targeting something about the 2570 level and uh, maybe as high as 2650 on Dropbox. And I would be very lucky to get a move up to 27 this week on Dropbox. And my stop is just gonna be a hourly, maybe a four hour close underneath 25. So that'll be Dropbox this week. Workhorse is showing a really good pattern on the daily chart. We have this nice good move up and we have this good consolidation right here. And Workhorse just popped the bull flag on a decent amount of volume and the pullback. So there's the volume. And then the pullback coming back into the former breakout area is on less volume. That's just textbook. So I'm looking to go long on Workhorse over 41.50. 
And my stop is just gonna be a daily close underneath $40 a share, maybe an hourly close underneath $40 a share if I'm day trading that wide stop, but looking for a nice good move on workhorse. If we check the options chain, the probability that we touch something as high as 46 is over 51%. So 45, 46, that's gonna be my take profit area on workhorse this week. Microsoft had a blowout earnings report and they're they're looking really good. We're ma making a flat top resistance at the 243 level, maybe as high as 245. We're making higher lows into that flat top resistance. I'm looking to go Microsoft over 243 and add to that position over 245. Targeting about the 247 area, if we check the option chain, there's uh, around that 44% uh, chance that we go as high as 247.50. So that'll kind of be my target area. Otherwise, a stretch target would be about $250 a share on Microsoft. And Microsoft, this is nice and easy. I'm gonna have a tight stop right underneath 241.82. And that'll be either a hard stop or maybe an hourly stop on Microsoft. Riot has some good exposure to Bitcoin and Bitcoin has been going off lately. We have this nice good higher low trend into a flat top resistance of 2470. So if we could break 2470, I'm gonna look to go long on Riot and I'll have, just have a stop underneath 2320. So nice, uh, good, uh, I don't know, dollar, dollar 50 stop loss. And I'm gonna be looking for a short term target of about 2683. And if we can base and hold out, I'll be looking to see if we can uh, break a little bit higher. The option chain is a little bit crazy, but there's a 52% chance that we can touch as high as 2650. So I'm gonna lean, lean with that conservative target, risking about $1.50 to make, oh, about $3 on Riot this week. The last stock in this week's game plan that I'm looking to go long on and buy is Palantir. Palantir, we had this nice good move up, pulled back into the old former all-time high slash breakout area. So that's super bullish. And I'm looking to go long on PLTR over $35 a share. And I'm just gonna be targeting something about the 36.70 level and maybe as high as 39.1 on Palantir this week. Otherwise, if the volume is gets to be really good, maybe we could see all-time highs, but that might take a few more weeks. So that concludes this week's game plan. Hopefully you learned something new about technical analysis, the way I uh, structure my trades and think about my trades for the upcoming week. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be uh, for sure trading these stocks, but I'm definitely gonna be keeping them on watch. Be sure to tune into Weenie Trades Live and see what we're catching intraday. I love uh, breaking down stocks uh, when, when the market's a little bit slower and uh, you can see what trades I am taking live. So be sure to hit the like button and hit subscribe. We just got over a thousand subs. Thank you for everybody. Uh, that subscribed and we'll be looking to trade some more this week. Alrighty. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.